Abhinav was an extremely passionate and you know hard working drummer and jamming with him was a lot of fun i mean we he would do all these goofy things in the jam room but he was also extremely he was like a machine almost right you know when he when he play so uh, not having that passion in the band and not having somebody that committed to the drums in the band definitely you know made a difference but you can't force people to do things they they don't want to do what are you going to do about that So Abhinav was actually the founding, uh, one of the founding members of the band. He joined us in 2006, and uh, he's been part of the band for over a decade. You know, it was tough losing him because I think he was so sort of integral to the overall sound. To have him, you know, quit and then look at other aspects of his life, I think was a difficult pill to swallow for him. Jared, Jared, I think was the immediate choice, I would say, right after uh, because uh, came from the same scene. Uh, we played a lot of shows together, so we knew the guy was talented, and uh, the guy who would have to fill in Abhinav's boots would have to be equally talented as him. So, like you know, in terms of skill level, like he was definitely there. Around the time that Jared joined, the second time we had just finished writing "Divided by Eight," which was a very different avatar when we were playing it with Abhinav. Uh, but Jared came and added an entirely new dimension to the entire song. Uh, you can hear a lot of elements that weren't there um, in Inner Sanctum's music earlier. A lot of the stuff that Jared brought in from a drummer's perspective. As far as Jared leaving, uh, Jared is. a full time musician right music is his bread and butter so whether it's playing sessions or producing other people producing his own music working on gospel stuff jared does a, jared has a lot on his plate and i guess he was finding it difficult to make time for the band and we were looking at somebody who could you know commit to a lot more time at that point of time because we're writing new music and uh, that's pretty much why jared left because he had too much on his plate and You know, it's a good thing to have a lot of work happening, I guess. So we wish Jared well as well, and now it's time for us to move on and see where we go from here. But I think you know the problem with band members leaving is you know we have quite a lot of songs because we've been around since 2006. So I think the biggest and the toughest part is to be able to find someone who can you know play the tracks perfectly and also do justice to all the other previous members who've been part of the band. So I think that's the toughest part. I mean, the logistics of making that happen, I think, is the toughest. But otherwise, it's also you know dynamically getting a you know band member who fit in. It's someone who's also you know we're like we're like almost like a family now because we've been you know our families know each other, we know each other's lives. Better you know, yeah, so you have to involve yourself in our toxic lives in order yeah, to like exactly. It. So that's the difficult part. I think the difficult part is finding that right balance, and I think. Uh, You know the the search is always going to continue till we find that right guy for the job. Then I think it goes both ways. Like I mean, the drummer also has to feel yeah. comfortable like with the band in order to like. Uh, so it's actually a one move. It's a yeah. musical thing and also yeah. a personality thing. Yeah, yeah. it has to fit in perfectly. We're just looking at it from a very different lens. We're not looking at someone to fill in for a very very short period. We're looking at basically. uh capitalizing on this momentum and finding someone that can help us craft the entire new sound of Inner Sanctum if you will
we had a couple of days to like check out all the videos and all the audio files that the drummers had sent us and it kind of you know checking them out kind of gave us the idea that which would be the right guys to take into the jam room with us and while the they are bashing the skins while the riffs are being dished out and it's definitely an important part of the process to you know to figure out like you know who's going to be drumming for us uh, in the near future and uh, writing music with us Hi, my name is Karthik. I have been playing drums. I'm a drum teacher and I have been playing drums for a few years now. And uh, I play for a band called a couple of bands called X Repeat X and Grosty. Do you want to try that once? Ah, you can pump fine. up the guitar volume on the. It's fine. We'll do this. Let's finish. Good. All right. Once uh, Chintan had contacted me for this, then uh, I told him I was interested in trying giving it a shot, and then he sent me the songs, and then uh, we I had ample time to uh, uh, figure out the songs, break it down, getting into details. So there was a lot of uh, uh, double bass work that is involved in here within a sanctum, and uh, it was quite a bit challenge, but otherwise uh, it was because it's something new to me. But I think uh, I managed to understand and get it right. Just random. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't catch time, so it's... so we'll do from this part. Yeah, we'll do no. from this part. No, no. Don't worry, dude. Don't worry. Because we, once we have a click going, right? Yeah. Then you're sorted. So I'll start from the fill, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah.
every track has its own challenge. Uh, but one of the tracks, which is March of the Wounded, uh, that was the track which was challenging for me because uh, uh, that was the song that I, I that, that was the last song that I could work on, and I, I couldn't do uh, get, get enough time to complete it with the best possible outcome. So that was one of the challenging tracks in the jam, in the audition today. I, I think, uh, personally speaking, uh, apart from the transition, you know, few transitions, I think otherwise you knew the parts really. Yeah, the parts yeah, are so like pretty the, much that's popular. what the transitions, um, okay. I don't have a click, right? So I'm yeah. just like... We'll have to work on that. We'll have to work on how that, get the clicks uh, How often do you play with a click though? As in, so like, my practice goes with the click. Okay, but, but uh, live it's more of the energy, smooth. no? Yeah, yeah. Hey, so, I, I, I want to do actually one thing. I, I want to play that riff once. That new riff, right? Uh, that new riff? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I just want to play that and see what's, what's the scene. Give that a shot. Random stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah go no, for anything you, you want feel to. Like. Right now, but uh, if it's see, I'll tell you what. No, no, I'll tell you what. See, the way we're just trying to see what kind of, how you think the riff, right? Yeah. Like for me, when I hear this riff, right, I'm thinking old school trash. Yeah, actually, I got that feel. That, that, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah, the way I connect cool. to it. Okay. So it's, it's just do whatever you, f what comes to you naturally when you hear it. Yeah. You want, want me to do that a couple of times? Uh, uh, I'll There were a few screw ups in terms of the transitions and stuff because I had to get used to, uh, I wasn't very used to the headphone monitors and stuff but uh, otherwise um, the small errors here and there I think uh, it was pretty good but I'm sure there is more with more jams to go I think I uh, can pull it off much better and do a better job than the audition for sure. Karthik is a very unique drummer because he comes from an extreme metal grindcore sort of background and um, we typically play death thrash, right? So he brought a lot of this um, really smooth uh, double bass playing which I think was very uh, fresh for us. Um, his stick work was also on point. I think uh, most of the stuff seemed uh, pretty accurate and pretty uh, you know, similar to what Abhinav and Jared were playing. Karthik was really good in terms of uh, bringing a very true metal feel into Inner Sanctum sound. Um, 
Having said that, it was very, very interesting to see what he brought to the table because he typically plays with a lot of grindcore bands, which is um, a style that is very, very different from what Inner Sanctum plays. But it was great to see him uh, fit into the fold with this particular sound as well. And, you know, it's just a very, very difficult uh, situation for us because deciding the best of the three is going to be so difficult uh, for the entire band.